Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Rosie in the Kitchen. Today I'm making this beautiful roasted Sunday chicken. I absolutely love to make this on Sundays. It's a great meal for your family or friends. Uh, this recipe is inspired by Laura Vitale. I absolutely love her. Go check her out. Let's go ahead and go into the ingredients. You're going to need some rosemary and thyme. Also, I have some Yukon gold potatoes, a lemon, lots of garlic, onion, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, some fresh cracked black pepper, and also some salt and some unsalted butter. And here I have my free range chicken. This is about, I would say, five pounds and it's all nice and clean and dried off. I also have a roasting pan. So first things first, get that oven preheated to 425. So we're gonna go ahead and prep our potatoes first. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil all over the pan, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my potatoes into quarters. So after I've chopped up all my potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic cloves and I like to leave the skin on so that way when it roasts at a high temperature, it will not burn because burned garlic does not taste good at all. I'm also gonna add in a sprig of rosemary. So all you gotta do is pull down the leaves from the stem and just go ahead and sprinkle that in the potatoes. So at this point, I'll add a little bit more olive oil and I will also add my kosher salt and black pepper. So go ahead and give that a toss. Make sure the olive oil and the salt and the pepper nicely coat the potatoes. And then I go ahead and just kind of put them to the side. And if you can put them in a single layer, that is ideal. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onion and I'm gonna cut it into circle pieces. And the reason why is because I'm going to place this in the pan so that I can place the chicken on top of the onions. And this helps the chicken, not only does it give it great flavor, but it also helps the chicken cook a lot more evenly because it's not in, on the direct heat of the pan. So next, go ahead and chop up a couple sprigs of rosemary and thyme and get that all nice and chopped nice and fine and throw that into, I would say about three to four tablespoons of butter. I'm also going to add in some pressed garlic. You can also add salt and pepper if you like. And what this is going to do is we're kind of creating like a butter, herb butter compound and this is gonna be uh, what's rubbed on the chicken as well as inside the chicken. I'll show you that in one second, but go ahead and mix that all up and we will get ready to, to prep our chicken. So one important step guys is to make sure that your chicken has set out um, and is dry and clean for at least an hour before you start this. It's very important that uh, you don't want a cold chicken going into the oven. Um, so what I'm doing is that I'm just kind of poking my fingers through the skin and the breast and sticking the butter inside of the chicken. And what this is going to do is just going to kind of create its own little marinade and as it's in the oven, it's just pretty much basting itself because all that good butter is inside the chicken and it's gonna just melt away. 
So once you get that butter nice and inside of that skin, go ahead and give it a rub down and kind of rub the butter further out into the chicken. So go ahead and take the rest of the butter and just rub it all over the chicken on the legs and on the wings. This is just going to give uh, the bird a nice color as well as a crispy skin and great flavor. So now we're gonna stuff the chicken. I cut up uh, a head of garlic. I'm also going to put in a cut up lemon. You also wanna tie up the legs so that it cooks evenly and tuck the wings behind the bird. And then just go ahead and throw it onto your roasting pan. So once you got it in your pan on top of your onions, go ahead and season your chicken. You're gonna wanna season it with uh, some kosher salt and black pepper. And after that, that's pretty much it. I just throw it into the oven at 425 and let it sit there for about an hour and a half, um, just depending on your oven. And I like to go ahead and chicken on it after an hour just to see how it's coming along. So there you go guys, my Sunday roasted chicken. It's absolutely delicious. It smells amazing. Your house is gonna smell amazing. Um, so I cooked this at about an hour and a half and I took a meat thermometer to the thigh and if it reads 170 degrees, you're good to go. If you don't have a meat thermometer, just uh, poke the thigh and if the juices run clear you're also good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe bye